watching yet another episode of E4M Pride of India brand series, an effort to highlight the success stories of some of the most popular and successful homegrown brands in India. Today, we are proud to have with us Ms. Kateja Lokanwala, who is the head of marketing at Zivami, one of the most popular women intimate wear brands in the country right now. Started in 2011 as a D2C offering, the brand has reshaped how women shop their intimate wear and got immensely popular in no time. Just within a decade of its existence, the brand is commanding over 25% of market share. Today, Khatija will tell us about the brand's journey thus far, the role of marketing in shaping up the success story of Zimame and the future vision. Welcome, Khatija. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mansi. Happy to be a part of this conversation. We are proud to have you here. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, Let's just start talking about brand Zivame. Can you tell me about the inception story and the, and how the brand came into being? Essentially, Zivame has already played the role of a catalyst in shifting perceptions and growing the intimate wear category in India. Uh, you know, Zivame uh, was actually had initially launched as a platform that allowed women, you know, to shop for intimate wear products in the comfort and privacy of that space. Post that we realized that the problem not just lay in the channel of purchase, but also in the availability of right products. Uh, so the company then adapted and extended itself into a brand. Uh, and we kind of launched a range of products that were designed for the Indian body profile. We have, uh, you know, an inclusive and exhausting range of products, uh, which offers consumers variety in terms of sizes, in terms of styles, pattern, prints, all of that. So today, Zivame, of course, has built an ecosystem where we not only engineer products that are designed keeping the Indian women in mind, uh, but we also, uh, you know, allow her, uh, you know, or give her rather, you know, an experience, a very comfortable, and uh, enjoyable shop experience through various channels that we operate. Quite interesting. But for the Indian market, you know, we are still a very conservative market when it comes to women intimate wear and discussions around that. I'm sure like more than a decade ago, it would have been even more difficult. So how did you start this conversation and how was the brand perceived in initial days? Could you take me through a journey of how the brand image and even the perception towards shopping women intimate wear has changed over the past 10 11 years like you rightly mentioned you know lingerie has always been considered an unmentionable category right uh, characterized by a lack of conversations around it and there were more than you know a few years back more than 80 percent of women did not even know what the right size was and there was a lot of hesitancy in seeking solutions and finding answers to what is right for you what is your right fit what is your right size right and hence Zivami's mission has always been to remove you know the taboos that surround this category and really encourage conversations in this space right um so initially in the in the earlier days i think the, the effort was always to build content Content, which was informational, which was relatable, that simplified the journey of the consumer and helped her navigate in the intimate wear space. At that point in time, it also used social media in a very big way, uh, where it was used as a platform to build conversations between women, right? There were campaigns that were executed, which was Zivame Women, where we featured real consumers who came and spoke about, you know, their story through either images or videos or testimonials. We had properties called lingerie confessions. My women came and talked about the challenges and their experience of going and shopping for intimate wear or their struggles with not finding the products or the sizes that they were looking for. Um, also, what Zivami has always done is very consciously portrayed real, relatable Indian women in our advertising as against glamorous, provocative shots. And, you know, this was done very consciously to enable conversation on the campaign once it was launched, right? So it's really, the attempt has been to build a safe space at Zivami where women could come, they could share, they could discuss, and they're celebrated for being who they are rather than being judged for the choices that they make could work on that part because that has been a very important conversation and I've been following the brand journey quite closely and that always stays with you the way you are being portrayed in media and very few yeah. brands get that right so good work yeah. uh, kudos for that moving on you said that Zivami has always focused on showing real women on screen and you know talking to real women 
in a way that they can relate to the subject and they can feel comfortable discussing their sizes or the fabric they are wanting or the designs they are wanting with you. If we talk about marketing, what was your first marketing, big marketing campaign? Like how you, how did you start using TV? Because social media is still relatively a safer space where you can build community. But when you are out on television, you are even reaching out to people that you might not necessarily be targeting. So how did you go about that? So let me take you back to the first campaign of Zimame that was, of course, much before my time. This was back in 2014 uh, when the first TVC of Zimame was launched. And that TVC, uh, you know, showcased a wide range of products. And it was the very first time that the word bra was spoken out on national television. Uh, and it was quickly followed up by a very insightful campaign, which was called, which became very popular and was called the Salesman Wali Bra. It was built on this very powerful insight that a lot of women, they end up wearing products that the salesman who's standing at that trade store where they're going and shopping, they end up buying whatever he's recommending, right? And that campaign kind of encouraged, uh, again, you know, it was a very simple combination of a woman just standing in her dining room and talking about her experience of shopping in a space which, you know, is so uncomfortable and can, can be really embarrassing, right? And how it encouraged women to go and shop on Zivame in the comfort and privacy of that space. You know, cut to 2021, our latest campaign was called Dekho Mene Kya Kya. We launched it back in June of 2021. The campaign was really, you know, built to encourage women to truly embrace themselves and, you know, indulge in their every dream, right? It was built on this insight where uh, today's women are looking to expand their boundaries. They want, or rather they are imagining themselves, in, you know, in, in new and exciting ways. But there is this question that pulls a lot of us back, right? And the question is, can I pull it off? You know, whether it is wearing a different kind of outfit, whether it is trying to do a new activity or indulging in an, in an experience, there's this lack of confidence that holds us back, you know, and we kind of, you know, not do what our heart truly desires, right? So the campaign really showcased how with the right intimate wear, which is designed for your body type, uh, can give you the freedom and the confidence to really indulge, uh, you know, in every dream and desire that you may have. That was the campaign that just went, uh, you know, live last year. That's quite interesting. Uh, as you mentioned that when you started, social media was primary channel of communication. It was back in 2014 that you came out with your first TVC. So over the years, how has your media pie really shaped up uh, in terms of share of digital and mainline? And apart from TV and obviously social media, what are the media are you using right now to communicate with your target group? Uh, sorry, Mansi, before I get to the point about the whole media pie, right, I'm just going to spend a little more time on talking about, uh, you know, the this mission that I spoke about, right, about Zivame, uh, you know, wanting to encourage conversations category and, you know, removing the societal taboos that are attached to it, making the category more mainstream and real. So very recently, uh, you know, I, the initiative that we've just launched, in fact, uh, that helps us further this mission is a show called Zivame Unhooked. Uh, this show is essentially, uh, you know, a makeover show that, you know, kind of talks about a transformation, which is both internal as well as external, right? It is, uh, you know, um, uh, eight episode long show. Each episode is about six to eight minutes. And each of the episodes are going to, is going to be featuring women across different age groups, different body types, uh, different life stages, different geographies. And they're going to come onto the show and they're going to share their experiences, talk about some of their insecurities and, uh, you know, focus on some of the challenges that they face when it comes to intimate wear. Um, the show is, of course, hosted by Sarah Jane Dias and Sejal Kumar. And we also have a very, an expert section in the show, which is hosted by our lingerie designer, Lakshmi. And the three hosts are basically taking these women on a, you know, a transformative journey of rediscovering themselves uh, and, you know, completely enabling them to do an inside out transformation, which is championed by the power of well-fitting intimate wear. We just went live with the show actually a couple of weeks back on the 19th of March. And every week there's going to be one episode that goes live. And uh, very happy to tell you again, the intent behind this was to encourage conversations and tell people or tell the women that we're talking to that it's okay to discuss the issues that you face and seek solutions uh, for some of your challenges. Got a lot of love for that show. Two episodes have gone live and the third one uh, will, of course, release this Saturday. So, yes, because I think the content is authentic, it's genuine, it's relatable. When you look at some of the things that the women are talking about, you can see yourself in that conversation. And therefore, again, it really helps us in you know driving this mission of ours to encourage conversations in this category. Uh, 
uh, of course it is it is a piece that's gone live on our social media coming to the whole you know the media mix of it uh, given that we are a digital first brand uh, we of course lead with digital marketing but we do follow the principle of accessibility and personalization to our entire marketing approach we are media agnostic uh, and depending on the objective of every campaign uh, you know we choose the right channel for it um, so it's not that we only advertise on digital or only offline i think we chose the right mix depending on who we want to reach who we want to talk to and what the objective of the campaign is makes sense and who have been your creative and media agency partners uh, till now um so um a lot of the work that we actually do on Zivami is built internally. Uh, we've got our own set of creative designers, our own set of content team, a brand team that kind of pulls together a lot of the content that you see there. On some of the larger pieces, for example, Deko Mani Kya Kya campaign, uh, we did that in collaboration with Low Linters Bangalore. Um, and the one that I just spoke about, which is Zivami Unhooked, we've done that in collaboration with the Voice Authority based out of Mumbai. And Voice Authority would be the production house for the show? Uh, they're not just the production house. They're also, you know, the, the creative partner on the show along with the okay. production as well. Both. Okay. And how are you promoting the show currently? What channels are you using for that one? So right now, the, the show is primarily focused and being driven on, on the digital platforms. Um, so it is live on all of our social channels. And of course, there's a promotion specifically on YouTube. It's an eight minute long, uh, you know, the, each episode is about eight minutes long. So it's long form content. And given the nature uh, and the length of the content, uh, right now we're focusing on driving it through digital. Great. Uh, we have discussed like how past 10, 11 years have been for brands of Amit. How have you seen the consumer evolve? Uh, are there still only urban consumers coming to your platform or are you seeing more of tier two, tier three women coming and shopping from your, at least indulging in conversation on social media? How does that space look like? To be honest, I think launch day in today's day and age is no longer a hushed topic of conversation, right? I think honestly, Zimame has led the charge in making sure that, you know, these conversations are encouraged. Women today, not just in tier one markets, but even in tier two, tier three are no longer shy about expressing their opinion and their thoughts, you know, on the category that forms a very essential part of their wardrobe. There is an intention to discover, to explore, to experiment with intimate wear. There's a very tangible shift away from boring, mundane, you know, intimate wear to experimenting with, you know, colors, styles, patterns, new trends. Uh, also, as a brand, we've made a very conscious effort in educating and telling consumers how their intimate wear has to evolve with their outerwear. So today, a lot of the women, uh, you know, are, are very conscious that, you know, with whatever outerwear that they choose to wear, there is a particular intimate wear that is right for that. And uh, it can actually lead to, you know, your outerwear appearance completely changing and transforming if you just pair your outerwear with the right intimate wear. So there is a very conscious effort that women are putting in today to understanding what goes with their outerwear and making efforts and ensuring that their wardrobe has that right intimate wear. Also, today women are no longer okay with being uncomfortable in their laundry. Again, this whole conversation we've driven, right, that you don't have to be always adjusting your strap or, you know, fidgeting with your band because you're uncomfortable and just wait to come home and remove your bra, right? I think women now understand that your lingerie can really be comfortable. It's something that you wear for, you know, about 18, 20 hours, some, some for some even 24 hours a day, right? So it's important that you have a fit which is comfortable and right for your body. Uh, and therefore, women are seeking, uh, you know, uh, solutions and identifying what their right fit is, what their right size is. And what is the right intimate fit for their body profile, for their breast profile? Um, we have this tool called Fit Code uh, that you know that uh, that basically helps you understand whether you're wearing your right size or not. Helps you identify what your breast profile is, and then also recommend the right products for you. And we've seen you know great ad adoption of Fit Code where women again sitting in their house on their device can you know quickly identify whether they're wearing the right size or wrong size. So you know yeah the the the, the consumers. The consumer is changing, is evolving, and they're really understanding that intimate wear uh, does not have to be uncomfortable, does not have to be boring, boring, and they're exploring uh, intimate wear and, and they're expanding their wardrobe just as their outerwear or, or wardrobe is expanding. That's great. That's very good to hear. Uh, but as you know, more consumer awareness happens, as more and more people get aware about such topics, uh, the competition also increases and you already have certain number of players competing directly with you in the market. 
what are the key challenges and opportunities you see in this space right now and what helps you stand out from rest of your competitors to be honest, Zivami is, you know, in, is, is really rightly poised to lead the space given that we are one of the only brands in the market that has products which are designed keeping the Indian body profile in mind, right? Uh, you know, all of the products that we have, uh, you know, that we have in our portfolio are keeping in mind, uh, you know, the Indian physique, the needs of the Indian woman, uh, you know, understanding what are the gaps that are existing in the category and therefore trying to build products that fit in that, uh, you know, or that solve for that particular a problem or that need so i i do believe that we you know we very clearly differentiate from everybody else in the market given that we are one of the only brands that you know has products uh you know and rather the products have been designed to fit the indian body and not the in the body being you know forced to fit into the product uh so i think we're very well poised to that we have a wide variety of products that you know uh, kind of meets the you know meets the intimate wear needs of uh, you know the consumers across moods across occasions across life stages so i think um, yeah we've got that competitive advantage going for us great and do you also have an offline strategy if yes how is it panning out and i'm sure there would have been some pandemic induced challenges in that space as well uh, could you just take me through how the offline part of the business is going right now so, um, Zibame, um, you know, believes in serving the consumer through her channel of choice, right? Uh, and we want to be where she wants to shop, and which is why the brand had actually been forayed into the retail space. Um, as of today, we are about hundred plus stores across the country, um, and you know, it, the, the stores of course give us an opportunity to enable consumers to touch, feel, uh, and you know, also helps us to serve the consumers in the moment. Um, so, uh, I think retail is expanding, expanding quite fast. I think one of the challenges that we had immediately after. The lockdown, of course, and that would be true for a lot of players was the safety that the consumers would have in their minds when they're visiting a store, right? Uh, so all of the measures that we had taken was to ensure that, you know, we provide a safe, worry-free, you know, shopping experience for consumers. So from, you know, Patient thermal screening. Uh, the merchandise was divided into trial merchandise and display merchandise, so that you know, only a certain set of products you know would be tried by the consumer. And every piece that was used as a trial, along with the trial room, you know, was immediately sanitized after the consumer has used it. Uh, social distancing, of course, you know, digitalized uh, payments, uh, you know, contactless payments. So all of that kind of helped us build a very safe shopping space for consumers. And I think we we bounced back fairly quickly after the initial lockdown. I was saying that my last question to you would be, uh, how do you envision the future for brand Zibame? What are your short-term and long-term goals right now? And long-term, I don't mean 10 years because no one can see that far. So however you want to define long-term. <laughs> I think uh, one of the key things that is both for us for both short term and long term that we're going to continue pursue is to really ensure that this mission that we are on, uh, that we remove this taboo that every woman is going to be comfortable saying the word bra in her own circle, as well as, you know, outside where, you know, we basically are going to encourage her, build a space for the woman to come, discuss, seek solutions for the problem that she's facing and ensure that we've got a range of products that are there to meet her every need. Uh, I think this is both short term and uh, you know long term for us and we're going to continue uh, you know on that goal great uh, thank you so much Khadija for your time today and all the best for the future hoping to seeing more interesting campaigns and more interesting products from your kitty coming soon thanks Mansi do go watch the show Zivami Anhok I'm sure you'll like it I'm sure you, there will be an episode that you will relate to and do let us know how do you how you liked it Definitely. We'll stay in touch with you for that. Uh, we'll give immediate feedback as soon as I go through the episodes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mansi.